Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, your next exam is Geography. And today we have Ma'am Kamalpreet with us and she will be guiding you related to this subject. Please listen to the instructions given by Ma'am and I know all of you will come with flying colors. All the best children. Over to you Ma'am. Thank you Anjali Ma'am. Hello everyone. ICSC Geography. We all know that the question paper consists of two sections. Part 1 consisting of three questions, each of weightage 10 marks and part 2 consists of 50 marks questions. The students will be required to attempt any five questions from part 2 whereas part 1 is mandatory. Some important instructions. With reference to topo sheet, may it be topo sheet, map questions, questions based on map or part 2. It is being advised read and reread the questions carefully and focus on the keywords, the main important instructions. Like for example, with reference to two sheets, let's talk it up with an example. If it says, mention different types of tracks shown on the map extract. Underline the word mention, meaning we have to check it out how many types of tracks are shown on the map extract provided to you, namely car track, pack track, metal road, footpath, you need to check the map carefully. Now the, here the question says mention the different types of tracks shown on the map extract. We need to re mention the name of the tracks. But if on the other hand if the question specifies how many types of tracks then we have to check out the number total number it might be one one or two or three. Coming on to another aspect, the concept of hours. Often students are confused with the hours. Here we should remember the color. If R and the number is mentioned in black like 5R, both the number 5 and R is written in black, it will indicate the relative height of the feature. Whereas if number and R is written in blue color, it will indicate the relative depth of the features. Like for example, if you see on the map extract the blue dot. Blue dot signifies the presence of perennial lined well. And the number, let's say 8R written in blue. Again, I mention, I repeat, both the number and R is written in blue and it is near the blue dot. So here we are supposed to write relative height of 8 meters of perennial line dwell. Underline the word relative depth. Underline the word meters. Do not forget to mention the units. Half marks for relative depth and half marks for meters. Coming on to the map work. Remember one thing. Wherever necessary, indicate the feature with an arrow in order to avoid overcrowding. I'll quote in another example where we need to check the colors. Like on the map extract, if you find red vertical line and black vertical line and you are being asked what does the black vertical line on the map extract indicate? The black vertical line on the map extract indicate meridian of longitude or we say line of longitude. Whereas if you find the red vertical line, we will just mention it as easting. On the same way, if you see black horizontal line or red horizontal line, we need to mention the answer for black horizontal line, line of latitude and northings respectively. That means the black horizontal line on the map extract indicate line of latitude whereas the red horizontal line will indicate northings. Now moving on to the map work, remember all important markings, labelings should be done with black colour and in capital letters. But if you find a long statement, then we can just use the running handwriting. Second thing, make YCs of arrows wherever necessary in order to avoid overcrowding. When we mark the cities, remember check out the position of the coastal cities or inland cities. If it is the coastal city, let's take an example. Mumbai or Kochi, Mumbai. Remember, the coastal cities should be marked. They are onshore cities marked on the coast. It should touch the coastline. 
Coming on to the next one, like for a next question, mark, name and number the standard meridian of India. Here, remember the question says mark, name and number. Marking A will be the drawing of the line. Naming, you have to mention the standard meridian of India and number will mention 82 and a half degree east. In the same way, when you are being asked to mark Tropic of Cancer, remember, we will not use a ruler. Tropic of Cancer will be drawn with your, let's say, by hand only. And again, Tropic of Cancer, the number will be 23 and a half degree north. Remember one more important point. When you mark Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer which passes from the middle of the country and divides India into two zones, both physically and climatically. While drawing Tropic of Cancer, remember it is very close to Narmada, passing through Narmada, but it will not touch river Narmada. Moving on to part 2, make wise choice of the questions. Be very careful when you attempt questions which are based on interlinkage. By interlinkage, I mean to say if a question consists of two parts. Let me make it more clear with the help of an example. For example, we take it up. Name the soil most widespread in Deccan Prep. Mention one physical property and one chemical property of the soil. Now here, um, name the soil most widespread in Deccan Prep. The answer will be Rega or what we call black soil and one physical property, one chemical like physical property the soil is black in color, the soil is clay in nature, the soil is known for its self drawing quality and chemical property the soil is rich in lime and iron. If the first part of the question is wrong like for example instead of black soil if I have written alluvial soil automatically the second part will not be taken into account. Here we apply the rule of interlinkage. Questions which are based on giving differences, compare and contrast or differentiate between. Remember, such questions should be attempted in tabular form and please make a note, pairing should be correct, should be matching. Like for example, differentiate between the soils of North India and soils of Peninsular India. Let's take up difference number one. Soils of North India, may they are mainly transported soil, whereas soils of Peninsular India are in situ soil. Like for example, I have written soils of North India are mainly transported soils and under soils of Peninsular India, I have written they are dark, deep in color. Now, since there is no relation here, I will lose marks. So, let's talk about the differences over here. Soils of North India, like we have taken up, they are mainly, tra they are transported soils. Soils of Peninsular India are in situ soils. Examples of the soils will not be taken as point of differences. Moving on to one more example, like there are questions based on agriculture where we need to mention the geographical conditions. When you talk about geographical conditions, we talk about climate, soil factor, labor. Now, when we talk about climatic factors, here we need to remember the factors related to temperature and rainfall. And when you mention the range of temperature or the amount of rainfall, which is required for a particular type of crop, remember, do not forget to mention the units. The units should be mentioned correctly. Otherwise, you might tend to lose the Marks. Coming on to one more important question where we need to define the processes related to the certain crops like for example retuning. Now here when we write the definition of retuning please be careful to do not forget to mention the name of the crop like for example retuning is associated with sugarcane. If we did not mention the name of the crop and the entire definition is correct again we tend to lose the marks these were some of the important points which we should remember i wish you all the very very best for your icsc may god bless you all thank you so much ma'am and i know our children will definitely follow the instructions the suggestions given by you and definitely they'll do well in their geography paper also so all the best to all of you Children, those who haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard. All the best. Happy learning, children.